who had Obito's powers. So he rolls up into the UA. Other heroes confront him and stuff. And they're like, hero, um, villain capture because they pay him respect because he's actually a really good help to them. And they're like, um, why are you on this property and stuff? Try not to offend him or anything. And I'm gonna say, All Might comes around the corner and says, please remove your mask. New Madara. Because they notice that it's a different Madara. And they assume it's, uh, like the son of Madara. Something like that. I wanna say... I think Ida looks like a grown man, and he was as tall as one. So I'm gonna say he's a little bit taller than Ida. Only like a few inches, I'm gonna say. Two inches. So I assume it's like an adult. He removes his mask. No, the mask like spreads out and disappears into his arm. And shows pretty much Obito, but with um, green hair. So imagine that. So, I don't know if they're all looking at him and stuff. He has the Goomba on his back and all that. And then, I am going to say, with an angry voice, um, I might say, where did you get that eye from? Talk about the Renegon eye. And he says, from Madara Chiha. It's like, why do you have it? Did you kill him? He says, yes. I might try to fight him, but because he, because he's about to die, he says, because that was my last mission, and he says, mission, more like a last test, um, Obito says, because he adopted the name Obito Uchiha. But he still used Madara's name around and everything. I say his hairs grew out, not as because. No, no, he's just like Obito. Yeah, just gonna keep it out like that. And and like, why was that your task? And he says because that's the last thing I was supposed to do, and just to implant his eye into mine. And they ask him, where did you get the other eye? He says, that was my natural eye. And, like, I'm going to say one of them says, we well, should just take him in. Like a newbie hero. And that's whenever the... Um, the... I forget it's called. Kamui opens behind Deku. Or Obito. I'm just going to say Obito for now. Or Deku, you know what I mean? And I might say, we won't take you in. Maybe ask why you're here. He says to become a hero. He tries to get the license and stuff. So they okay. They let him go in, but I'm not saying some of them are keeping an eye on him. Especially All Might. Because he doesn't know what type of attitude he has. And so. By now, I'm going to say he already gave his court to Mirio. So he won't get one for all in this. And so. And, yeah. So then, people, like, see him. And they say, I'm going to say he put the mask back on. So they're like, well, I see here. Isn't that the hero, um, villain capture? Because that's what they named him on the news and all that. I'm going to say All Might went up there personally and called him that because he knew him as a great man and stuff. So he walks in, they call him New Madara. Because I'm going to say, to tell the difference from Madara and them, he does the same acts and stuff that Madara did, but... He puts, he draws on their faces. And like, people see him twirling a um, marker around. And then his mask comes off and 
He walks and sits down. Almost he's really smart because he didn't just sit around and like work out. I don't know if he like studied and everything. Because he still wanted to be smart. So they play some of the same spot almost there. Because he never went to the school, so I'm just gonna do that for plot or anything. So he's there. I wanna say Ida is like watching him just in case because he knows he fights um villain stuff and um Ida's thinking that um I might have to watch what he does especially how strong he is because it, he says that he's been taken down um villains for eight years straight Eight years ago, he popped up. It's thinking, is he also 15? So that means he must have been playing villains at um, seven and stuff. And so he's confused. And. It starts, I'm gonna say he like speed blitzes everybody. He's running really fast. They see him put his hands together and touches the floor because he has like a vest on with wood coming out of the ground and jumping on it, hitting a whole bunch of other robots around it, striking into them. Then they see him jump off, um, then they see a white stuff come out of his arm and it changes color and it turns into like a robe on top of I'm not gonna say he had a robe on, I'm gonna say he kinda had like a regular um kinda how the battle against um Kakashi and Obito had those kind of clothes, so like the regular robe that he was wearing with the mask on appears over him. First it was white, then it turns into black, I'm gonna say. And then he punches the robot, making it crack in the ground in the process whenever he punches the ground with it. I'm gonna say here he has 20 points with this one move. And does fire style fights. Fire style, fire destroyer, fire style, fire destroyer, jutsu, and shoots a huge fireball, um, to, like spreading over the field, heating up like to the concrete where it looks like it's molten lava and stuff. And people are impressed how strong he is, and like this is the power of uh, um, Madra. And stuff, and I'm gonna say it's big enough for the other side of the city. You can see it, and stuff. So, I'm gonna say Baco season, like whatever. It's just fire. My explosions are stronger, and stuff. He thinks he's gonna get more points. So he, I'm gonna say, um, that he did enter his name. So. As, um, Obito Chiha. So, so he's going down. Whenever the um zero robot about to crush um um what's her name again? Um Udaraka. What he does, he does world devastation. You just see him pull it out his hand, put it in the air. With all the robots flying into one ball. But it's not like a giant one. Well, he does that. Unless he goes over and grabs Uraraka. With like, I'm going to say like, he took up all the other like zero pointers and stuff. Except he picked up all the small robots in like a couple buildings that were like halfway destroyed by the robots behind it um, and dropped it on top of the zero pointer getting almost a thousand points by that one move and I'm gonna say 80 rescue points 
in the process. And then I'm gonna say he calmly is away from all the devastation to the other side of the field. And because he has white setsus in him, where he doesn't get harmed, his eye doesn't lose vision whenever he uses them, um, any of the moves. So, he's there. And the time's up, he just leaves. I say, Uli Rocket thanks him and all that. And then I think All Might will talk to him and say, Who are you and stuff? He says, I'm open to a Chiha, the adopted son of a mother of a Chiha. He says, Adopted. So, what was your real name? Or what was your first last name? He says, Actually, I changed my first name also to. But my original name was Izuku Midoriya. He used Midoriya because I'm say, like I said, his parents were, um, as you guys probably heard in the back of my, some of my videos, yes, my name is Kyle. I tried to hide it because I don't really like people using my name. I don't really like it. Plus, anybody from my school will know and I'm like, I'm going to be like, oh my god, stop, it's Kyle. He he's so amazing. Can I get his autograph? He has he has four subscribers. It once was four once once it was five once too. Oh my god. <laughs> and then I have to run away from all these four people <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> so yeah. And he has so he starts with mom. Whenever he hears um, Izuku Midoriya, I want to say his parents were the um, fourth and fifth heroes. So they were actually pretty high ranking, and they said that they like committed, um, um, they killed themselves after their son died, or supposedly died. And like he sees this and he's like, oh, I have to talk to him next time. See you in the next video. Bye, guys.